video on converting uh, your previously existing worksheets into digital fillable um, versions uh, to save you time. Um, and it's a pretty smooth process that integrates well with Google Classroom and assignments. Um, so hopefully you can find this useful. The first thing you want to do is open up your browser. I've been using Chrome. I suggest Chrome for uh, using this tool. And what you want to do is you want to search for PDF Escape. And it's called pdfescape.com. So I'm just going to click on that website. And on the website here, you want to choose the file you want to convert. So I'm going to open up uh, a recent lesson that I'm working on, a worksheet uh, that I normally would give my students uh, in class. So here it is on the piano keyboard. All right. And uh, what this program is going to do now is allow me to select areas that I want students to fill in. Um, and then they can type in their answers. So the first thing you want to do is hit form field over here. And that gives me some options uh, to create different fields. Um, I haven't experimented with all these because I'm just new to this program. And, um, but I'm assuming text paragraph would be great for longer uh, paragraph type answers. Um, but for this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to use text because we're just filling in the blanks. So once I have that enabled, uh, I simply click and drag over the area on the screen I want the students to be able to fill in. And it gives me some options here for fonts. I'm just going to stick with Arial. Uh, I like 14 and bold seems to appear the best, um, but you can experiment with those. Uh, I would suggest leaving the color black because it does convert weirdly um, online if it's not black. Um, but again, you can experiment with that. So then I simply go through the rest of the worksheet, highlighting and masking the areas I want students to type. Now, if I want them to type in the middle of this, I'm going to go to Object Properties. Each one of these boxes has properties. And I'm going to go to Alignment so that and choose Center so that the text appears in the middle of that blank. Um, I can also duplicate objects by right-clicking and duplicating and just dragging over. You can resize objects. Um, and it's a pretty smooth process. So I go through the rest of my worksheet uh, and put in uh, boxes wherever I would want to have students fill in text, like on this little diagram, they can type in there, that's fine too. And when I'm done, oh, and by the way, if you accidentally click on the screen, uh, like I just did, you just have to highlight and delete them. It's a little annoying, but that's what happens. All right, so there we go. So now these green areas are gonna be areas where the students can um, type in. And what you wanna do now when you're done with the rest of the document is you wanna click on the green double arrows here to save and download it to your computer. So I'm gonna do that now. So that's saved a copy to my computer. Now, the power here is that if you go to Google Classroom and you create an assignment, I'm just gonna create a mock assignment here called test PDF. Um, I'm gonna add now that file from my computer there it is, and I'm going to upload it to the assignment. Now I'm just going to select one student because I have my daughter in this class just as a guinea pig. And you want to select make a copy for each student here because then they can fill in their own worksheet and you will get their version of the worksheet. Okay, so you want to make sure that that's selected. All right, so then when I assign that to the class, it appears in their classwork or their stream. And then they can just simply click on this and it opens up in the browser. Now you can't do anything with it right here. Uh, what you need to do, and I have another video by the way that goes through uh, this process which I've included um, as an attachment. Um, but what you wanna do here is uh, you now need the online PDF uh, program or annotator to, to type in the answers. So we're gonna go over to more actions here. You're gonna open this in a new window. And on most Chromebooks in our school, they have this dropdown. And I believe most students will have Doc Hub already installed. But if they don't, uh, as my other video shows, they can connect more apps uh, and have that extension applied. All right, so I'll show you really quickly. You can go in here, Doc Hub, and then uh, they can add that. Mine's already connected. So what they simply do is they open it up in Doc Hub, and it may ask them to sign in. 
um, and give permissions uh, the first time through. So just uh, instruct them to do that. My other video uh, has more information about that. But then, yeah, simply it now becomes, you can see where I drag those areas are now fillable fields. So um, we can call it student. Uh, the notes he can always be found to the left of the group of two black keys. All right, and then back down here, they could label this as C sharp. All right, so the students would go, they would complete their digital version of the worksheet. And then when they're done, the, the wonderful thing here is they just simply go over to download export. And although the Google Classroom option is here, I wouldn't use that because it gives a weird link. It's not even the PDF. All they have to do is use the export to Google Drive function. So you click on that. You want to make sure they've selected updating existing. Now the students will be really savvy with this. Um, and then you just export to drive. And what's happening now, once they click OK, is that assignment, um, and if you watch my other video uh, using the student demonstration, that assignment will appear back in Google with their notes. So you don't have to have them upload anything. Um, and it'll appear right in uh, their Google Drive uh, as is. All right, now it doesn't appear on mine because I'm not a student, um, but that's it's just a, a seamless way to use um, some free software to create uh, digital worksheets. So if you have any questions about that, please send me an email. I'd be more than happy to help you with it. I'm still experimenting with it, um, but I thought that this would be uh, something that may save you time and help you in this conversion to the online teaching world.